Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today to learn a little bit more about exploring the USA by rail with Amtrak vacations. Today, we're going to be talking about the great destinations, the US national parks, and other areas across the country that are really trending and booking for us at Amtrak vacations at the moment. We would love to give you all the opportunity to get to the head of the line to make sure that you get the best possible price and ensure that you get space on the departure for the destination that you want traveling into the summer of 2021 and into 2022. My name is Chris David. I'm the Vice President of Sales for Amtrak Vacations and our sister brand Railbookers up here in Canada. I'm actually in charge of the Canadian market um, and I'm your guest host for today. Really excited for the chance to chat with you all about these wonderful areas throughout the United States. Before we get started, I'd like to give you a quick overview of what we're gonna be covering in the webinar this afternoon. First off, I'm gonna be taking you through some of the itineraries, these, these trips that we're focusing on today, showing, showing you where they're going and giving you a detailed description of the packages into the US national parks and other destinations. Secondly, I'm gonna to talk to you about the customizability and the flexibility with our program at Amtrak Vacations and the ability you will have to uh, modify any of the packages to start from or end in your hometown or the rail station closest to where you live. I'll give you a little bit of insight as well into what Amtrak is doing to provide peace of mind for passengers at this point in time, given the situation that we're in, the health and safety regulations that are in place, all of those new procedures and policies that they've implemented to make sure that you can ride the rails with total confidence. Um, also, I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about the environment on board Amtrak and give you a sense of what it's like traveling by train on an overnight rail journey with Amtrak. Before I get into all that, however, let me give you a quick introduction to our company. We are called the Yankee Leisure Group. We're a company that specializes in rail vacations and leisure trips, vacation trips around the world using rail transport, using trains as the primary mode of transportation. We have three brands, Amtrak Vacations, Yankee Holidays and Rail Bookers. Amtrak Vacations, which you see on the left there, um, our brochure, which by the way, will be coming out with our new brochure very shortly. It's going to be in digital format and e-brochure and we'll make sure that it gets circulated by email to all of you. Amtrak in fact is the official, Amtrak Vacations, I, I'm sorry, is the official tour operator for Amtrak. We work closely in partnership with Amtrak providing and operating all of the leisure trips, all of the independent vacation packages throughout the United States into the national parks, city getaways, and the other highlight tourism destinations across the country. Uh, Yankee Holidays, uh, another company brand that you may be familiar with within our group, uh, specializes in city breaks and city getaways. These are packages that include hotel accommodation and uh, sightseeing and all the activities and components that you would want while you're in the destination but they don't have that rail transport, the rail access into the destination. So if you, for example, are going into the national parks by car or by air or by another mode of transportation through Yankee Holidays, we can provide that getaway package to allow you to enjoy the destination with the accommodation and all the activities you would want to do while there. And Railbookers is our brand that will cover you for any of your worldwide rail vacation needs. If you want to do an independent trip in Europe, for example, or here in Canada or in Alaska, we work with the local rail operators to provide independent vacations using train to get you around from place to place, but including all the hotels and the sightseeing. We also, under the Rail Bookers brand, have luxury and specialty trains, some of those iconic famous luxury rail experiences you might be familiar with, like the Orient Express, for example, or the Trans-Siberian Express, which travels across Russia, the Maharaja's Express train in India, which is a luxurious train taking you throughout the main 
highlight tourism destinations there. South Africa's Blue Train, you name it, all of these luxury rail experiences, we will be able to book for you along with hotels and sightseeing experiences in the destinations as well. But the focus today and the spotlight is on the US and the great trending rail vacation itineraries um, going into the US national parks and other parts of the country. To give you a sense of what we do as the official tour operator for Amtrak, let's start by looking at the Amtrak route network. Amtrak travels to 46 out of the 48 US states, uh, excluding only South Dakota and Wyoming. There are 500 Amtrak stations throughout the country. And with Amtrak vacations, you have that unique ability to customize your trip to start and end in any one of those 500 cities. So for example, if you live in uh, Minneapolis St. Paul, or if you live in Kansas City, and you see a package that starts or ends uh, in Chicago, you can very easily modify, customize that trip so that you can begin your vacation right from your hometown. At the moment, we have a fantastic flash sale in the market. The ability to save up to $500 per couple on your vacation. The degree of the discount with this sale depends on the duration of your trip. So the $500 applies to any trip seven nights or longer. It's only available for another couple of days. So please make sure to reach out to us at Amtrak Vacations, calling the number on the screen, speak to your rail expert, res agent to inquire about booking that trip that you've had in mind to go into the US national parks or elsewhere and avail yourself of that $500 per couple discount. I wanna just emphasize before we get started how everything we do at Amtrak Vacations is totally customizable. These are not tours per se, they're not group departures or set departure dates. Everything that we do is known as FIT travel. Now that's travel industry jar jargon that stands for flexible independent travel. These are independent trips that you're doing with your own party, your travel companion, your own family, or perhaps the small group of people that you're bubbling with. And we arrange and customize everything to meet your specific needs. So even if you see a package on our brochure that has an itinerary, including rail, transportation between specific cities, you can change that. You can add additional cities. You can change the number of nights in any one of the places along the route as well. You can upgrade your accommodation on board the train. All of our packages are priced in coach accommodation on Amtrak, but if you're going on an overnight rail journey, it's often a good idea to consider upgrading to a sleeping compartment on the train and one of Amtrak's great um, uh, sleeper trains, the superliner trains that travel west from Chicago, uh, lots of different options for sleeping accommodation, which I'll talk about shortly as we go into the presentation. Also, the hotel accommodation in any of these trips can be customized as well. You can choose between three, four, and five star options in any of the cities along, along the route. Uh, we have a great variety of properties, including luxury, iconic five-star resort hotels. So you can sort of choose based on the destination where you want to stay and what level you want to go with, you know, factoring in your budget, your travel style, and the specific uh, motivation or uh, reason for your trip. As well, the sightseeing can be completely customized with lots of options to choose from in every destination. We normally include in our packages a city pass, a city sightseeing pass that allows you to explore independently for the duration of your stay in, any, in every one of the cities, but also lots of additional tours and admissions to highlight attractions that are included. And you can talk to your rail expert about adding additional sightseeing excursions act, and activities based on your specific individual interests. The, one of the biggest trends in travel at the moment is what's been described by journalists and others looking at trends during the COVID pandemic as remote travel. This is the desire that people have to go out into the world to those places that are less crowded than the city destinations that typically are the highlights or the, the uh, main uh, 
uh, magnets for travel you know, in 2019 and prior to COVID. The main cities around the world were where people wanted to go. Nowadays, it's open spaces. It's remote wilderness areas and national parks and places where you can breathe fresh air, commune with nature, and not have to contend with large crowds of travelers as you're enjoying your vacation. And the reason rail vacations are such a great option when it comes to exploring the US national parks is that the train can deliver you, Amtrak can drop you right on the doorstep of some of the most popular sought after national park destinations. The best example here is Glacier National Park, which is one of our favorites and one of the most popular for our guests. The reason really for that is that Glacier is right on the Amtrak Empire Builder line. Uh, the station in Glacier National Park is just, if you would believe it, 209 steps away from the front door of the Glacier Park Lodge. So a very, very convenient way to access this magnificent park in the northern Rocky Mountains of Montana. Our most popular package featuring Glacier National Park is the Glacier National Park Express. Here you're traveling on the Empire Builder train from Chicago. And by the way, the, the way you read these itineraries is that the black circles with the numbers indicate overnights in a hotel or national park lodge accommodation. The red line is a journey on board the train. And then the red triangles indicate an overnight on board one of the Amtrak sleeper trains. So here you're traveling on the Empire Builder. This is one of the most scenic rail journeys in the United States going through the Rockies. Um, really magnificent. You have two nights at the beginning in Chicago, a chance to explore with some great included attractions. I'll tell you about in just a moment. And you have three nights in Glacier National Park with an, a full day excursion exploring the park that we'll look at in a moment as well. Another overnight rail journey and traveling overnight by train is an adventure. So much fun in and of itself. Um, into, from Glacier into Seattle, where you will have two nights to enjoy the city, see the highlights with some wonderful uh, admissions into the local attractions included with, the, with your trip. In Chicago, you'll have the included sightseeing architecture crews, such a fantastic way to really appreciate uh, one of the, the great attractions that Chicago has to offer, which is the incredible architecture that spans different eras and, one of, and styles from uh, uh, featuring architects from around the world. And you'll have a cruise that is narrated by a docent from the Architectural History Society in Chicago telling you about uh, this fantastic aspect of one of America's great cities. And you'll have time as well to enjoy and explore the city on your own time. Our packages all include a fantastic balance of included sightseeing as well as free time to explore independently. In Glacier National Park, there you see the Empire Builder Amtrak Superliner train. By the way, a little bit of trivia. Again, Superliner is kind of train geek jargon. The Superliner trains are those Amtrak double-decker trains that I'm sure you would all recognize that you may have seen uh, in your own city. Double-decker trains traveling westward from Chicago into California uh, that that's, uh, feature sleeping accommodation. We'll, in a moment, look at the various different types and levels of sleeping accommodation available on the trains. In Glacier National Park, you'll have a full-day excursion, which is called the... Um, Big Sky Circle Tour. This is um, conducted by a driver guide in one of the famous iconic Red Jammer buses. You can see the Red Jammer bus in the picture at the lower left. They date back to the 1930s. There's a lot of history at Glacier National Park going back to the early days of the National Park Service. And that is a part of the experience as you're traveling around and exploring the park with your um, driver guide on the jammer buses. You're going on the going to the sun road, very famous route that bisects the park right through the middle, magnificent scenery throughout. You also have an included cruise on Two Medicine Lake. Um, just a great way to explore the park with that commentary being provided and you'll have three nights there. So lots of time as well to do some hikes and walks, soak up the atmosphere, spend time in the lodge, which is a wonder in and of itself really one of the 
grand, most iconic lodges within the U.S. National Park System. Uh, there's a restaurant there where you can enjoy local specialities like elk and uh, bison on the menu, as well as huckleberry pie, which is very popular in that area of northern Montana and Idaho. Your two days in Seattle are a great way to get familiar with uh, the jewel of the Pacific Northwest. You'll have an included admission to the uh, Space Needle, as well as admission to the fantastic Dale Chihuly Garden and Glass Exhibit, which is very famous in Seattle. So there you have it for Glacier National Park Express, such a great way to combine very different, but each fantastic experiences in, uh, in one trip. You have your two nights each in Chicago and Seattle with a chance to explore and do some sightseeing, two overnight journeys on the Empire Builder train. And when you're traveling through the US on the train, you know, Amtrak, all of, the, all of these superliners have the wonderful observation cars, which is, um, has that uh, uh, panoramic glass dome window to uh, enable you to uh, take full advantage of the scenery as you're traveling through the country. Everybody on board has access to the observation cars. So you have your, your two nights on the train and then plenty of time in Glacier with the included uh, sightseeing tour to really take in all the magic and all the majesty of that wonderful national park. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about our grand national parks itineraries, which are very popular for us at Amtrak Vacations. A fantastic alternative if you were considering traveling abroad uh, in, the, uh, in 2021 or even last year, if you had perhaps planned to do a cruise or a river cruise or a great trip through Europe, but are not able to do so because of the travel restrictions resulting from the COVID pandemic, these itineraries taking you through a number of, of the iconic U.S. national parks are a great way to include a lot of varied experiences, landscapes, destinations into one great trip that can go over 10 or 12 days, really kind of giving you a fantastic vacation to rival anything that you might have done overseas. Grand National Parks of Yellowstone, Yosemite and the Grand Canyon features three of America's most iconic, most popular national park destinations. Four nights on overnight rail journeys on the California Zephyr and Southwest Chief trains, both traveling through beautiful scenery in the Rocky Mountains, different parts of the Rocky Mountains, um, kind of the Northern Rockies and then the Southern Rockies from LA back to Chicago, going through Colorado and that uh, red rock scenery of uh, Colorado and Utah. In this package, you have two nights included in Salt Lake City. And there we include a dinner at the Roof Restaurant, which is very iconic and a great way to kind of get the atmosphere of Salt Lake City. The Roof Restaurant is located on the 10th floor of the Joseph Smith Memorial Building. And while you're dining, which by the way, it's one of Utah's premier gourmet dining venues. While you're dining, you have magnificent views of downtown uh, Salt Lake City and the Mormon Temple is right there in front of you. A spectacular building that really kind of exemplifies and represents the culture and the history and the unique atmosphere of Utah and lit up at night, absolutely magnificent, right in front of you um, as you're enjoying your dinner at the Roof Restaurant. Then it's off to, to Yellowstone National Park. And Yellowstone, in fact, is not on the Amtrak rail system. So you have a road transfer from Salt Lake City up to Yellowstone. In Yellowstone, we have the included Yellowstone Lower Loop Tour with a national park ranger guiding you throughout the most popular spot, showing you those geothermal features, the geysers and the mud pots and Old Faithful, taking you through the park to appreciate the waterfalls the beautiful scenery and the wildlife as well. Then after your interlude in Yellowstone, it's off to San Francisco where you will have an overnight before your excursion the following day out to Yosemite National Park in San Francisco. There will be some free time uh, to enjoy the unique and wonderful atmosphere of San Francisco, perhaps taking a stroll down Lombard Street. And then the next day it's off to Yosemite National Park with your driver guide you're going to be traveling up through some beautiful scenery in the foothills of the Sierra Nevada mountains. When you get to Yosemite, you have 
access to the park to you'll have a park pass which will give you uh, allow you to go out onto all the trails the footpaths taking you up to um, the base of the many of the waterfalls that the park is famous for as well you'll have uh, an included sightseeing tour throughout the park seeing all the highlight features and the main attractions like El Capitan and Half Dome. After your excursion to Yosemite, it's back to San Francisco and then you are off to uh, Los Angeles traveling on the Coast Starlight Train, a wonderfully scenic rail journey down the California coast into Los Angeles and overnight in LA. And then it's aboard the uh, Southwest Chief another of the superliner trains traveling overnight from LA into Flagstaff, Arizona. We'll have a short transfer to Williams and you'll board the Grand Canyon Railway, which is a wonderful historic train that takes you right up to the south, uh, south rim of the Grand Canyon. There you will have your accommodation at one of the uh, iconic lodges on the south rim. Uh, we holds room inventory at all of these South Rim lodges at Amtrak Vacation. So even if you're inquiring last minute about these very popular national park destinations, uh, Grand Canyon welcomes 7 million guests a year. It's one of the seven wonders of the world and close to the top of every American traveler's bucket list. So uh, a lot of demand, but we do hold rooms at lodges right on the South Rim, such as El Tavar, which is really kind of the grand old lady of the Grand Canyon. Uh, when it comes to accommodation, a beautiful lodge on the room where you can see views like the one on the screen at the moment, right from the balcony of your room. Um, El Tavar dates back to 1905 when it was really the most elegant hotel west of the Mississippi, and it still holds that status and that reputation today of being the best address at the south rim of the Grand Canyon. So that gives you an idea, folks, of what you can do exploring your own backyard on one of these great Grand National Park itineraries featuring, you know, in this example, Yellowstone, Yosemite and the Grand Canyon. You can also do Yellowstone um, and Yosemite combined with Glacier National Park and several other Grand National Parks itineraries with lots of different variety of cities, overnight rail journeys and national parks included, as well as all of these included highlight sightseeing experiences uh, in the national parks themselves and in the cities. Now let's talk about southern Utah and these incredibly popular and wonderful national parks um, that are really, really trending for us at the moment at Amtrak Vacation. We're seeing so much interest and uh, a huge rapid rise in popularity of these amazing parks. There are five parks in southern Utah known as the Mighty Five. This itinerary features two of the most popular and arguably the most spectacular Arches and Canyonlands National Parks. The itinerary is uh, six nights in duration. You have two nights each in Denver, Glenwood Springs, and Grand Junction. And from Denver, you have a full day sightseeing excursion out to Rocky Mountain National Park, which is wonderful and a fantastic uh, national park destination. Uh, for wildlife in particular, you can see elk and moose and deer and the famous bighorn sheep, as well as just magnificent scenery right. Um, easily accessible from Denver uh, as a day excursion. And then you have those two nights in Grand Junction, which is your base for exploring Arches and Canyonlands National Parks with that iconic Wild West Red Rock scenery, uh, just spectacular and a wonderful place to, uh, to explore. And then Glenwood Springs en route between Denver and uh, Grand Junction is a fantastic Rocky Mountain destination with lots to do. There are caves there that we have, we have an included cave tour, as well as hot springs and lots of uh, adventure activities. You can do hiking, biking, zip lining, you name it, and wonderful scenery to enjoy while you're there. So there you have it for peaks, arches, and canyons express great value and just a magnificent part of the country to explore. That little section of the California Zephyr uh, Amtrak route between Denver and Grand Junction is known to be one of the most scenic rail journeys anywhere in the United States and maybe anywhere in the world. You are really going through the heart of uh, the, the, the most magnificent section of the Rocky Mountains. Here's another idea 
or another example of a rail vacation featuring two very iconic and very popular national park destinations, Yellowstone, which we've already taken uh, a look at, and the Grand Tetons. Grand Tetons in northern Wyoming. And this itinerary would start from Chicago with your overnight rail journey on the California Zephyr train. Uh, you see indicated by the red triangle there. Again, uh, one of the, the, the wonderful aspects of these rail vacations, the Amtrak vacations, is the journey on board the train itself. So much fun and such an adventure traveling on an overnight train. Uh, we'll talk in a moment about booking your private sleeping accommodation. On this particular package, again, you have your two nights in Salt Lake City and Yellowstone and Grand Tetons, neither of which are directly accessible by rail. And so what we do with this package is we provide you with a rental car, which is included in the package price, out of Salt Lake City. So you're traveling independently on your own steam up to Grand Teton. While there, however, there's a half day sightseeing excursion through the National Park, and you've got your full day lower loop tour in Yellowstone with your two nights accommodation in Yellowstone, right in the uh, National Park Lodge as well. But it all starts out in Salt Lake City, or you take the train over from Chicago to Salt Lake, which is a great city to spend time in and enjoy. You've got your two nights included, but you can always extend that. As I mentioned at the, at the outset, everything is customizable. And in Salt Lake City, there is so much to do. Utah's capital, of course, you can visit the, um, visit the capital. And it's a great place for outdoor activities within the city limits, hiking, biking. Uh, you can explore Cottonwood Canyon and just enjoy the downtown, uh, the bustling Liberty Park. Then it's up to Grand Tetons in your, uh, in your rental car, where you will have your included accommodation right there in the Grand, uh, in, in the Canyon Lodge, which is the lodge accommodation right in the heart of Grand Teton National Park, where we again hold room inventory, so we'll always be able to get you in. You'll be staying right in the heart of the park and you'll have your included half day sightseeing tour of Grand Teton as part of the vacation. Uh, a wonderful park, over 310,000 acres of spectacular, pristine wilderness, um, something special for visitors during every season. And then Yellowstone, you uh, are uh, drive, traveling independently by car from Grand Tetons up to Yellowstone with everything taken care of and included your accommodation and your sightseeing tour, the lower loop tour going out and exploring the park with the National Park Ranger while in Yellowstone. So there you have it for this itinerary. Again, wonderful value and a great way to combine the overnight rail journey with uh, a Salt Lake City city stay and two of America's most popular, most iconic national park destinations. And then there are some fantastic city getaways to consider, and these are really trending for us. One of the most popular cities to explore um, very conveniently accessible by rail is New Orleans. And as we mentioned earlier, in each of these packages, you have the ability to choose your accommodation between three, four, and five star options. And you can always upgrade or select in certain destinations, wherever you're traveling to, to go for that highlight hotel, that iconic uh, property that really um, is going to enhance and upgrade your experience and make it particularly memorable. Such as the Hotel Monteleon in New York. It's been said that the French Quarter begins in the lobby of the Hotel Monteleon. In fact, this is a venerable hotel that sits majestically at the foot of Royal Street, giving guests the best point of departure for all things New Orleans. Um, it's an historic landmark and a member of historic hotels of America. When you're in New Orleans, there are lots of activities uh, to enjoy, which is, of course, what makes New Orleans such a popular destination for people from all over America and indeed the world to visit. That combination of history and culture, fantastic music, incredible cuisine, and just the atmosphere of the French Quarter and the whole city. We include in the package uh, several different activities that really kind of give you the flavor and the flair of what this destination is all about. There is uh, an excursion to the San Francisco Plantation House, which is an antebellum 
plantation known to be one of the most beautiful um, in the south and really a great way to get an understanding of that part of the south's history going and seeing the plantation fantastic collection of uh, antiques in the house itself and a uh, very interesting guided experience giving you um, insight into into that uh, into that aspect of of the of the country's history we also have uh, an included uh, tour of Mardi Gras world and admission to the National World War II Museum in New Orleans, which is fantastic, as well as a Creole cooking demonstration included and a dinner in a local restaurant, all included as part of the package. Fantastic value with your three nights hotel accommodation and the sightseeing and the excursions um, starting from just 4.49 for four days. Let's now talk about traveling by train and the experience of going through America and exploring uh, the country on Amtrak. First off, packing for the train. Nothing could be easier really than packing for a rail vacation because the restrictions are very, very minimal. You can take two large suitcases and two carry-on bags and you can actually check your luggage 45 minutes prior to departure. Amtrak is really stepped up all of its policies and procedures in, re in response to the COVID uh, pandemic and, the, and um, to make sure that uh, passengers can travel with complete peace of mind. The um, trains and stations are being sanitized on an ongoing basis throughout the day as well. Face coverings are required for passengers and staff on board the Amtrak trains. They're being booked on a uh, guaranteed 50% capacity. What that means is when you book to travel on, uh, on Amtrak into the spring and into the summer, you can be guaranteed that every other seat in the economy, coach, uh, carriage on board the train will be blocked off to ensure that that minimum six foot distance between you and the next passenger will be observed. Amtrak has also implemented state-of-the-art air filtration technology to ensure that the air on board has been circulated every four to five minutes and contactless um, procedures for ticket control and the and onboard payments for, for food and snacks and any other items that are being purchased. So no money and no tickets, no paper is changing hands on board the trains. Let's take a look at the accommodations on board, starting with coach. In coach on the Amtrak trains, you have a large reclining seat, big panoramic window, power outlets at every seat. And what's missing in this picture? Can anybody spot it? You probably guessed it, the middle seat. On trains, there are no middle seats. The economy seating carriages on Amtrak, via rail here in Canada, and indeed on trains around the world, is all uh, uh, arranged on a two by two seat configuration. So it's just an aisle seat and a window seat, never squashed between two people on board the trains. And with that 50% uh, capacity, it's just gonna be one passenger at the window on either side of the aisle. However, in coach, um, bear in mind that your meals are not included. When you're in a sleeper, any form of sleeping accommodation on board the train, three meals a day are included not so in coach you're purchasing your meals on board and as well if it's an overnight rail journey you will be sleeping at your seat so typically anyone traveling uh, overnight on board the train when you look at those itineraries the little red triangles with a number one would generally upgrade to some form of sleeping accommodation lots of perks there in addition to the privacy of being able to slide the door closed behind you and avoid you know be completely comfortable and have the peace of mind that you're uh, avoiding any kind of exposure in, in any group settings you also have lots of additional amenities you have uh, the service of a car attendant as well as an, an amenity pack being provided with toiletries as well as free coffee and tea uh, throughout the journey Pr uh, priority boarding is another of the perks that you have with uh, sleeping accommodation on the superliner trains boarding separately ahead of everybody else and there you see the car attendant who's looking after you throughout your journey whether you're booked in a roommate or one of the bedrooms on the Amtrak trains. Roommate is the kind of entry-level sleeping compartment with Amtrak. It's a small compartment, two large chairs facing one another that convert overnight into bunk beds. 
it's a full lie flat bed, so a very comfortable night's sleep. And everyone who's done it would uh, confirm, I'm sure, that traveling overnight on the train is just an adventure. It's great fun. You have the ability to roam and explore the entire train. Um, you can, uh, you know, you never confined to your seat. You can get up and use the washroom wherever you like. And uh, just a very relaxing, comfortable, and enjoyable way to travel. In the roomette, you, your washroom facilities will be private but shared down the hall at the end of the rail car. So this is the great thing about train travel for me, is that ability to really just uh, roam around, stretch your legs whenever you like, go and spend time in the various environments on board, the beautiful glass-domed observation car, the lounge car, the dining car, uh, you never can find to your seat. You can enjoy time with your travel companions in these various areas of the train. If you want more privacy and uh, the ability to have your washroom, your shower, uh, facilities right there in your compartment, then you would upgrade to a sleeper on the train. Here you have a love seat and a lounge chair that convert overnight into bunk beds once again. You can't really tell from the diagram, but the bottom bunk bed is 50% wider than the top one making it ideal for families with young children. If you're a mum and dad traveling with a little one, it's perfect for one of the parents to share the lower bunk um, with, uh, with the, the toddler or small child. And also Amtrak gives you the ability to remove the, um, the partition between two bedrooms, creating a family suite where you have four beds and two washrooms. So really a wonderful way to travel for families traveling together, up to four people in a family traveling together. There are wheelchair accessible bedrooms on the Amtrak trains, however, not very many of them. So if you do require an accessible uh, bedroom, please inquire well in advance to ensure that you do get the accommodation on the departure date and journey of your choice. Amtrak offers flexible dining, which is fantastic, with a range of different menu options for you to choose from at every meal. And the cabin attendants will actually bring your meal to you prepared hot and fresh on board in the privacy of your compartment. This is a great new feature that has been introduced during COVID. Amtrak also has some great everyday discounts that you should be aware of. Children two to 12 can travel at 50% on the train, and we would factor that in to the a rail portion of your vacation. As well, seniors and military both receive 10% discounts on the rail portion of the itinerary. We have a maximum flexibility offer I want you all to know about. This is for anyone who is concerned about what your options are gonna be in the event that you have to cancel or reschedule. These are strange times, and many of you may have had experiences during COVID of needing to reschedule your trip for some reason related to the pandemic. The maximum flexibility offer is designed to give you peace of mind and total flexibility. You can cancel five days prior to your departure date and all funds on file towards your trip would become a future travel credit that can be used towards any itinerary or destination we have throughout our company, in Europe, in Alaska, in Canada. Uh, the Credit can also be split over multiple new bookings. So if you wanted to just take that money on file that you perhaps had towards a Grand National Parks trip and split it over multiple uh, Amtrak rail only journeys, we can do that as well. As well, the uh, future travel credit can be transferred to any other person in the event that you decide that you no longer wish to travel. Please remember the limited time offer that we have, the $500 per couple savings that are available just for another couple of days. So if you're interested in traveling into the U.S. national parks or any rail vacation, please give your Amtrak uh, vacations rail expert a call and ask about the discount. Uh, we do webinars every week. Uh, next week, we're going to be looking in depth at the private sleeping accommodation on Amtrak and the week after looking at the hidden gems and best kept, kept secrets throughout the Amtrak vacations. Uh, program countrywide. Folks, that brings us to the conclusion of the presentation. And before we go to questions, I want to just ask one small favor of everybody. Hopefully, you've gotten some inspiration from the presentation today and gotten some uh, food for thought about destinations that you may want to visit. What I'd like to ask you to do 
if you wouldn't mind, is open up your question box and give us an idea about some of the destinations that we discussed that really resonate for you. Really helpful and valuable for us to know which of these destinations are really kind of capturing everybody's imagination on the webinars. So please go ahead and open up your question box and I'd like to share some of those responses with everybody on the call as well, just so that we can see where everybody's mind is at in terms of the destinations. I'm seeing uh, Eastern Corridor, that's interesting. We can certainly do that. New Orleans, Glacier National Park, Grand National Parks. Grand Canyon, uh, Arches and Canyonlands. And I can see some questions coming in. So thank you so much for those responses. Really is very nice and helpful for us to know which of these are really kind of hitting the spot and capturing your imagination. With that, uh, I'm going to conclude this evening and start answering some of the questions that I can already see have been coming in. Question from Carlo asking, can you please talk about solo travel? We can absolutely accommodate solo travelers, Carlo, and what we would do when you call in and speak to one of our rail experts, they will put together the package or the itinerary that you're interested in um, using the accommodation on the train and the hotel accommodation. That is going to work best in terms of um, the price and accommodating your specific needs as a solo traveler. So we would uh, create in real time a quote for you um, specifically um, uh, focusing on the on the fact that you're traveling solo. Uh, okay, just looking for other questions that may have come in. Um, Amanda is asking, do you have a chat option with the travel agent rather than calling in? Amanda, we don't really use chat. Our kind of modus operandi for booking is to call and speak to the rail expert. The reason being that very often these trips are being modified and they're being customized to suit your specific needs in terms of the hotel selections, the route itself. And so it makes the most sense to just let the res agent know, the rail expert know what you want to do. We then create an itinerary in real time and we'll give you a quote right away uh, while you're on the phone as well. Susan is asking, is Canada allowing visitors? Unfortunately, at this point in time, Susan, uh, the border is still closed. Uh, hopefully, that situation will very so shortly be rec rectified. I know we have, uh, we up here in Canada would love to come down and, and, and travel into the US. And I know many of you would love to come up and explore the Canadian Rockies and other parts of Canada. I'm hoping, you know, optimistically, by the late summer, we should start seeing that situation start to change as the vaccine rollouts in both of our countries progress and the herd immunity begins to develop. Stay, um, Stanley is saying, I need a gluten-free diet. Is that available on the train? Stanley, absolutely. Amtrak can cater to any kind of dietary requirements, gluten-free as well as um, ethnic meals, um, different kinds of um, uh, religious uh, diets can be accommodated. You just need to give us 72 hours advance notice and we can make sure that any dietary requirements you have are uh, catered for. Dottie is asking about medical help on board the trains. Dottie, I'm not sure that there are um, in particular, um, you know, medical staff on board the trains. However, uh, you know, it's not going to be very long between another station, another location. So in the event of a medical emergency, um, you know, arrangements would be made with emergency uh, medical personnel at the next station along the route. Are transfers included, Carlo is asking, from the Amtrak station um, to the accommodation, or is it on our own? Carlo, the answer there is usually the Station to hotel transfers, we do not include in the packages. The reason being that very often it's a very short distance. We use hotels um, largely selected based on their proximity to the rail stations, so it's usually very short. And our past experience has shown that most travelers prefer to just, uh, you know, oftentimes it's a, it's a short walk from the station to the hotel or just take a short cab ride. Arranging a private transfer from the rail station 
to a hotel that might be a mile or, or less uh, away is often very expensive and much less convenient than just hopping a cab uh, at the station. Ricardo's asking, do you reserve for 2022 uh, and still receive the discount? Absolutely. The discount is, basic, is basically based on when you book. And we can book right up into the early part of 2023. And uh, we would absolutely um, honor the discount. And you would lock in today's prices as well. So if you pay a deposit, um, you know, booking now for 2023, even if the prices go up with pent up demand and everybody traveling like crazy as the coronavirus comes to an end, if you book now, uh, you'll be able to lock in the current rates for those future departures. How many days could you stay in Glacier National Park to see a lot of it? Dave, you can choose to stay as many days, uh, you know, as you would like. I would say, um, you know, three or four days would probably be enough to, to kind of get a really good feel for the park and be able to do, uh, you know, some of those cruises on the famous lakes, um, get an insight into some of the indigenous culture, which is a part of the experience there, and and see all of the main, you know, hit all the hotspots. But you can choose to stay longer if you so wish. Um, can I sit next to a person traveling in coach? Oh, that's a good question William is asking. Certainly, you know, if you're traveling with a companion uh, and, and you, you're both part of the same family or you're bubbling together, there's absolutely no problem sitting next to each other. That 50% um, capacity means that the staff on board the train will seat passengers and arrange the seating in such a way that no given group, um, you know, are seated too close to uh, to any other passenger that they don't know or that they're not bubbling with on board the train. Dairy-free diet can absolutely be accommodated, uh, Charlie. Uh, are we Europeans allowed in the US due to corona restrictions? Perhaps in July, uh, Ove is asking. I certainly hope so, Ove. Um, you know, it's, it's a crystal ball question and we're all holding, you know, crossing our fingers that these restrictions will be uh, lifted or will be relaxed at least, um, you know, as the COVID immunity begins to develop in each of the countries. Is there an off for the Northeastern Corridor um, area closer? Northeastern Corridor, absolutely. Uh, you know, what I've showed you today uh, is, is a sample of the national park destinations that we see a lot of demand for at the moment. The uh, Mighty Five of Southern Utah, the kind of iconic parks of the West. However, we at Amtrak Vacations travel, travel to 18 national parks throughout the country, as well as city destinations everywhere across the United States. We've got a huge array and variety and selection of uh, itineraries to choose from, including uh, on the Northeastern Corridor. So just check out our website, search by destination, and you'll get all kinds of ideas traveling throughout, uh, you know, New England, the Northeast, the Midwest, and all of the national parks everywhere across the country. Uh, can one have a week stay over in LA? Absolutely, oh, you can stay in LA as many days as you would like. What we can also do at Amtrak Vacations and Railbookers as well, is you can split your vacation, for example, if you're doing a cruise um, out of out of LA, let's just say, for example, you could uh, you could uh, create your itinerary with Amtrak Vacations. So you have a few days at the beginning, you then cruise, and then you can um, have additional time at the end, perhaps traveling up the coast on the coast starlight to San Francisco. Estella's asking, do you have a brochure in print that you can send? Estella, not this year, unfortunately. We've made the decision this year due to COVID to keep our brochures uh, in digital format. However, those uh, we have new ones coming out very, very shortly, and we're going to make sure that they are circulated to everybody on our mailing list, which will include everyone on the, um, on the webinar today. William is asking, are drinks served at certain times on the train? Uh, drinks are served with your meals, William, and then you have access to, um, you know, to the snack car to go and get a drink when, whenever you like. As well, in the in the lounge car, there is coffee and tea uh, available at all times uh, to passengers booked in the uh, sleeping accommodation on board the train.
Dave is asking, is there a bar on the train? No bar per se, but there, uh, uh, you can actually bring your own alcoholic beverages on board. And there are alcoholic beverages available for, pers for purchase on the train. Um, you can bring your own, uh, you know, beer, wine, any booze you like. If you're in a sleeping compartment on the train and you're welcome to enjoy um, your adult beverages in the privacy of your compartment, you can take them into open areas of the train, into the, um, uh, the dining car or the observation car, for example, but you can enjoy them in your own compartment. Is the discount only available to couples or can singles get a discount? Yes, we would prorate that discount if it was a single uh, single traveling, Sarah, absolutely. Uh, how many days in the Grand Canyon would you suggest? William is asking. Wow, that's a tough question, William. Grand Canyon, I have had the privilege and, the, and you know, of traveling, of spending quite some time in the Grand Canyon. Uh, it's vast. There's so much to see. I mean, if you want to just kind of get a feel for it, see the, the the beautiful view from the rim. You know, you wouldn't need more than a couple of days. Uh, it's a it's a fun place to hang out. There's an historic village at the South Rim, as well as the magnificent view. Uh, however, you know, if if you're so inclined, you can arrange to do hikes into the Grand Canyon. You can arrange to do um, uh, river rafting on the Colorado River. These are all kind of specialized excursions that have to be arranged well in advance. But if you wanted to really kind of, uh, you know, go deeper, uh, literally <laughs> into the canyon, there are ways that that can be done. Um, are there special amenities for young children on the trains under eights? Anything you could keep in mind? Absolutely. You know, train travel is very conducive for families with young children. Amtrak and Via Rail and other rail operators are very good about providing activity packs and uh, kind of little gift boxes for kids to keep them occupied on the train. But in addition to that, it's just a fun way for a family to hang out together. As I mentioned, you can go, for example, and spend time in the lounge car with your kids. Everyone's seated in bench seats around a table, beautiful views outside the window, grandkids and parents and kids hanging out together, playing cards or games or drawing. Then you can go back to your compartment. You can go up to the snack car or dining car for a meal. So uh, it's an adventure. It's a, it's a wonderful way to travel with children. And again, you have that discount of 50% for kids aged 2 to 12 traveling on the train. Dottie is asking, best time to travel west? Um, you know, the Amtrak uh, trains traveling west from Chicago. So the Empire Builder, the California Zephyr, and the... Um, the Southwest Chief travel year round, Dottie, so you can enjoy these uh, magnificent views and wonderful scenery any time of year. However, bear in mind that some of the national parks are seasonal. Yellowstone, for example, has uh, a short winter season, and but it's it's mainly open uh, in the summer between May and September. Uh, same goes for Grand Tetons, uh, Glacier National Park. So uh, there are some restrictions there. Is there live entertainment on the train? Uh, John is asking. No, not on, not on the Amtrak trains. There are certain trains that do uh, offer entertainment. I'm thinking the Grand Canyon Railroad is fantastic for that. It's a short train journey from Williams, Arizona up to the South Rim and they really make it an experience. Uh, very inter interactive. They stage a, a hold up to kind of give you that Wild West theme. They have musicians on board. Uh, singing kind of bluegrass and country and western type of music. Um, on the Via Rail trains in Canada as well, they have these are the, the, the trans uh, Canadian rail journeys. There are musicians that come on board uh, and there are interactive presentations that are provided about what you're seeing uh, on board the train as well. Um, can we do a train across California? There, the uh, um, some of these trains do go across California, the California Zephyr, the Southwest Chief go uh, east to west across the state into LA and into San Francisco, uh, Donna. Folks, such great questions. Thank you so much for your interest and for being so engaged and for sharing these great questions with everybody so that we can uh, share the information. I hope you've enjoyed the presentation this evening. I've sure enjoyed talking about the destinations. Please join us for a forthcoming webinar, and if you're at all interested, uh, please give us a call at the number on the screen. 
and talk to one of our rail experts. Uh, make sure to do so in the next couple of days to uh, ensure that you can take advantage of the $500 uh, flash sale discount. In the meantime, everyone, please stay safe out there. Take very good care. Oh, I see a question that's just come in in caps. So um, I'm sure William is very keen that I answer about uh, reward miles be used. Yes, our rail experts, if you have Amtrak reward miles, uh, can factor that into the cost of your trip. So thanks again, everyone. Uh, stay safe, take care, and we will see you all soon. Bye for now.